Welcome to Review Nation and today I am reviewing a band called Dwell and their album Gospel of the Vile. Now this album is as intense as anything. It incorporates elements of post-metal, doom metal, sludge metal and it at times incorporates some funeral doom. Now March has been a very slow month for me in terms of albums. At the moment I am struggling to find some really good music in March. But I stumbled on this band called Dwarf. The Gospel of the Vile is such an interesting atmospheric album. At times it's quite passionate, quite emotional. This album is something I've never really heard before. They create their own sound. You can tell they've been inspired by Cold of Luna, even Swallow the Sun. They really put a twist in their own music, incorporating some really sludgy guitars along with black and death metal vocals. The lyrics overall on this album are all about the demise of humanity. And at times, this album lyrically can feel very uncomfortable or quite disturbing because this album just swallows you whole as you listen to it. This album is a journey from the first song Ascent to the last song Descent. There are six members in this band and they come from Norway. So the first song is Ascent. A very slow building song incorporating different sort of melodies. I love how prominent the bass is and there is a nice melody. There are some really nice synths throughout this song and it's qu they're quite om ominous gives you a sense of trepidation. And I just love the transcendence. It's quite atmospheric. You get some really nice clean vocals. The song is the ascent to the album. And once you hear ascent, you know you're in for an epic ride. So the next song is Like Rats. a pretty long song like all these songs are pretty long there's nothing below five minutes and even the ascent the introducing the album to the listener is over five minutes i really love the slow building intro with the soft tone of the snare and the guitars drumming on this song is just brilliant i love the drum feels nice little cymbal accents there's a lot of use to the cymbals throughout this song the sludgy guitars come in you're thinking it's going to be clean vocal style album after listening to the ascent but all of a sudden you get hit by death growls these death growls are at times intense as anything and yet dynamic i love how piercing they are There's some really nice chord progression of course it's doom so it's a pretty slow song they incorporate elements of post metal and sludge metal Vocals transition throughout this song and they transition into acidic black metal vocals. So this song doesn't end with those intricate guitar moments. It leads on to some really head banging moments throughout the conclusion. I love the melodic death growl vocals throughout the conclusion have a bouncy vibe. This song is a really good song, but not the best song off the album. So then we lead on to Gospel to Vile, and this is the title track of the album. This song did not disappoint me. Sometimes title tracks really disappoint me. It's a very long song, this song. It's about 14 minutes, but boy, it doesn't feel like 14 minutes. This song takes you along for a ride. The intro has distorted sludgy guitar, and you get those black and deaf vocals. There's a really nice slow build up creating that atmosphere. And I love how the synths become ominous. The melody becomes infectious and the vocals intensify as well. As the song progresses, it becomes quite progressive and the song transitions into a slow mammoth once. So then, after this crescendo, we get a 
huge moment with those guitars that are quite sludgy and distorted and the soundscape throughout Gospel of the Vile increases creating that atmosphere like you're being swallowed like the world is weighing on your shoulders One of the best songs of the album for sure. I loved it. Takes you on a journey. So next song is very interesting. At first the intro has that bass and it's quite pulsating along with some really nice intricate drumming. Now this song becomes quite heavy and you get a wall of distorted guitars. And again, those vocals, those death growl vocals are incorporated throughout the song. The guitar riffs throughout the song are very catchy along with the vocals. Throughout the conclusion of Obsidian Heart Burns, we get the heaviest moment of the album with those crushing guitar riffs with those extreme vocals. Overall, this song is fantastic. It's about 10 minutes. They incorporate doom and sludge metal very well throughout this song. It's something very different, something you've never heard before. So we get one of the shorter songs off the album, and this is the whispering one. enjoy this song. I think it's a very solid song. The Whispering Rum, a very atmospheric song with distant synths in the background. Get those harsh aggressive vocals again and that awesome guitar melody. But as it reaches its climax, the song is something else. <laughs> the length of the song about six minutes I was a little bit disappointed I feel that the whispering one because it needed more room to breathe it's a pretty good song if you want a rest from those long songs okay so then we get the final song descent It's a very slow building intro. There's this guitar melody that gets stuck in your head. The riffs throughout this song are quite contagious. The song is slow, but again, they love incorporating sludge metal, but then they incorporate funeral doom throughout this song. The vocals are yet dynamic and raw in tone. There is some really nice slow clean guitar melody creating that atmosphere. The vocals transition into cleans similar to the ascent melody then kicking the overdrive with those acidic black metal vocals. Now I love the I love the conclusion of the song because you know it's the final closer of the album and really they don't disappoint. You get an effectuous guitar riff repeats itself over and over again and I absolutely love it along with those those climatic playful vocals throughout the conclusion. just love the overall conclusion of this album. This album is all about doom and gloom. This album is so depressing, but it's depressing in a good way. And I want my doom to be very depressing. And I love depressing music. I think this is definitely one of the best albums of March. Dare I say, one of the best albums of 2020 so far. At times, there are notable differences throughout this album. What I really wanted on this album was, a f was maybe a few guitar solos. A few guitar solos to be incorporated throughout this album. Sure, you got post-metal elements throughout this album. It would have been maybe a little more surprising to incorporate guitar solos 
such as maybe you could have incorporated a guitar solo through the whispering one or even the descent or such an epic song maybe it was lacking guitar solos to make it more vibrant but i understand what they were doing they were trying to make it so depressing so gloomy and damn they did a great job i'm giving it a solid 8 out of 10. it's a magnificent album if you like doom if you like sludge if you like funeral doom go fucking check it out right now so comment below what you thought about this album review keep the discussion going comment section below subscribe if you want and i will see you in the next one